can't believe that stupid airline lost her luggage. What are we gonna do? Ask Blanche, she's the expert when it comes to checking into hotels without luggage. <laughs> I can't believe somebody stole my bags. Oh, honey, don't worry about it. With all the money we're gonna win, you'll be able to replace those bags and everything in them. Yeah, what about my bags? Relax, with your share, you can have your bags surgically removed. <laughs> Come on, let's get to our rooms and get some sleep. Good idea. Good morning. My name is Nancy. How may I help you? Uh, we have two double rooms reserved under the names Bornack. I'm afraid I just gave those two rooms away. But we had a reservation. Until 3 a.m., you're late. Therefore, the reservation is null and void. I'm sorry, that's company policy. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm from Sicily. You know what our company policy is? First, I break your knees. Ma, ma. <laughs> Look, forget about the reservation. Just give us two double rooms. I'm afraid we're all booked up. First you give away our rooms, and now you're telling us you're booked up? That's correct, madam. It is? Hey, I'm pretty sharp for three in the morning. <laughs> Here, let me handle this. <clears throat> Nancy, honey, now I don't generally like to throw my name around, but you really leave me no choice. It so happens that I am Miss Andrew Dickinson. <laughs> And now, if you don't mind, I would like two rooms. You don't look like Angie Dickinson to me. I know. I have altered my appearance for a very important movie role. Yeah, it's about a woman who eats her way from behind the iron curtain. <laughs> I think we'd just better go to another hotel. I'm afraid that would be an exercise in futility. There's not a vacant room in the city. Girls, this is terrible. I mean, we're going to be on national television in seven hours. We don't have any clothes, and now we don't have a place to sleep. Look, I sympathize with your problem. For $75, you can sleep in the lobby, and I won't have you arrested for loitering. $75? That's a lot of money. I know, ma'am. That's why I want it. Go. <laughs> Gee, this is just great. I mean, everything this whole night has been nothing but fun. You really need to get out more, Rose. Come on, Dorothy, admit you're having fun. It's kind of like being on an adventure. An adventure? My foot. It's more like a nightmare. We're going to go on national television in clothes we slept in all night. We'll look like hell. We'll be exhausted. We won't be able to answer any questions. Oh, would you stop complaining? We've got it easy. Back in Sicily, I was on a game show. It was torture. What was it called, Sophia? I just told you, torture. <laughs> Mussolini asked the questions, and you better have the right answers. <laughs> Things like, who do you like better, me or Hitler? <laughs> Who's got the snappiest boots, me or Hitler? <laughs> Who's got the cuter girlfriend, me or Hitler? And you always had to answer, Mussolini. Otherwise, they forced you to play the lightning round. They used real lightning. Oh, come on, Ma, you're making this up. Like hell I did. Goods and Tottenham brought it to the United States, changed a few of the rules, and called it Tattletales. <laughs> now count your blessings and go to sleep. Good night. <laughs> Fernando, you naughty boy, not the feather. Blanche, Blanche, wake up. People are looking at you. What? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I was having an erotic dream. <laughs> what time were we supposed to be at the studio, Sophia? I don't know. I have to check the tickets. Hand me my purse, Dorothy. I don't have your purse. Wait a minute. You have mine. I gave them to you. Hold everything. I think my purse is missing, too. So is mine. Girls, you know what this means? Somebody snuck in here while we were asleep and grabbed, grabbed our dough. dough. 